Show me how the whip shit cold Watching my step ground froze Most my days spent alone Same with my bro, he knows Ay, Gotta pay dues Walking in mud, you can check my So this Texas toast bread was um, free Free 99 I had a coupon for a free loaf of Kroger bread And I had a request to get some Texas toast bread So, boom, there it is Straws, honestly, I don't even remember now I have the hiccups all of a sudden, but now I don't even, I don't even remember how much these were. I want to say they were probably about $3 or so. So I need straws because I have sensitive teeth and I prefer to drink out of a straw. Um, I picked up Mr. Lindsay's Sun Fix It In Plus. These are, the twin pack was $10.99 and I had a $2 off of a twin pack coupon, Kroger Digital. So I went ahead and got that because he doesn't have any more of that and that's important. We need that. Um... Orange juice was regular price, almost $5, y'all. It wasn't on sale this week, but needed a gallon of orange juice. I'm trying to keep orange juice, tea, and water in the house. I'm trying to wing all of us off of sodas. So, anyway, so orange juice and then the eggs were part of the weekly deal this week, which ends today, actually. So, the 18-count eggs are $1.99, so I just went ahead and picked up two because I already have eggs in the refrigerator. Needed some more Ajax, so got that. I think that was $2.49. Picked up some Glade Spray. I really like those Febreze plugins, but they are so expensive, y'all. The refills um, at Kroger are $13.99, and you get like three or five in there. I can't remember, but I just didn't want to spend the money today on that, so I just um, settled for this Glade Clean Linen Spray and cashmere woods which was literally the last one <laughs> on the shelf and then i have a coupon for three off for 15 dollars worth of vegetables but i'm like girl i don't want to buy 15 dollars worth of vegetables okay just to use the coupon so i just bought what we needed um some italian green beans and some broccoli this Honestly, I can't remember. One of them was $3.49 and the other one was $3.99. I can't remember which one was which, but they were both $3 and some change. And we're still trying to wing Mr. Lindsay off of Gatorade and Powerade. Powerade and Gatorade are horrible sports drinks. Um, I watched this video explaining how it even came about and it's absolutely disgusting on how Gatorade came about. But anyway, so Powerade has less salt. So, um, trying to wing him off of the Powerade and the Gatorade because of the salt co um, content in him, in both of them. Um, so, I just got the one Powerade and Fruit Punch. And then, last night, I made tacos, but we ran out of um, Doritos, the, the nacho cheese Doritos. So, I told Olivia to grab a bag. So, this is the one she grabbed, Cool Ranch. Because um, when we made the tacos, I didn't use taco shells or tortillas. We just used, it was more like nachos. We just used uh, Dorito chips. And I have some left over. So, anyway. Picked up some apple juice. It was on a sale. I can't remember. I think it was like one twenty nine or something like that. And then some good old cranberry juice. Because I cannot swallow them. Horse, azo, urinary tract, cranberry pills. Girl, they're too big, Okay. But cranberry juice is a little bit expensive, more expensive than it used to be. It actually used to be just like $2, $2.50, but now it's $4, okay? So this is pure cranberry juice. This is the only kind that I get. They do have a weekly deal or a sale going on with the cranberry juice cocktail, but that defeats the whole purpose because it's not 100% juice. So got that. Then Olivia saw this crazy TikTok about some marshmallow fluff and strawberries, so she wanted to try it. So we got that. This is uh, $150 for this, um, and I think these were $3.99 for the strawberries. So then got some bananas for Mr. Lindsay. On a weekly deal, they had this Heritage Farm chicken breast for $7.99, so I went ahead and got that. I was hoping to run into the leg quarterbacks because they were on sale, but of course they didn't have any more. So we got that. And then for snacks and stuff like that, um, for Olivia, she picked out these pizza rolls, which are like $5.49, something like that. And then the potatoes, these were like four something. I can't remember, but got some russet potatoes. And then picked up a thing of tilapia i haven't purchased tilapia in a while so went ahead and got that because all of the other meat was a little bit more 
um, than I wanted to pay. So, you know, it is what it is. And then got this pickle jar. And when I was looking at my receipt, I was like, dang, why them pickles $5? Girl, because it's Clawson. I thought I picked up the Kroger brand. Ah! Anyway, it's too late now. I'm already at the house. So, got that. And then picked up these these uh, beef brats, smoked brats worse. Got two packs because there's three of us. And so let's go over what I am thinking for meals. Okay, so today is Tuesday. So we're going to have leftover tacos. Um, I have that chili, still some chili leftover from Sun. What is what's this? from Sunday so what I'm gonna do with that is I'm actually gonna use that tomorrow so that it doesn't go bad for chili cheese dogs so I bought some beef broth so we'll have chili cheese dogs tomorrow with french fries I'll cut up some potatoes and make fries and then so that'll be what Wednesday and then Thursday, well, I'm not going to say which day exactly because anything can change. I'm, but tomorrow, because I have to work all day, more than likely it's going to be a simple meal. So it's going to be the hot dogs, chili cheese, chili cheese, dogs, and fries. So that's definitely tomorrow's meal. But after that, it's going to depend on how busy I am during the daytime. So the chicken breast, I thought that would be a meal. So chicken breast, and then we've got some vegetables. Um, I've got a can of white potato slices. It's just one can though, so I'm, I'm not sure about that just yet. But we've got chicken breast as an option, and then we have fish as an option. And I have a whole chicken that I still need to cook. It's in the deep freezer, so I think I'm going to go ahead and sit that out today so that it can be cooked over the weekend. Um, and then what else for meals? That's all I can think of this week because we literally don't have much in the freezer. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking um, chili cheese, dogs and fries, chicken breast with a veggie and a starch. So that's two meals. And then we've got tilapia. So that would be three meals. Um, let's see. So that'll be three meals and then I'll, you know, oh, you know what? I've got a, I keep forgetting about this little small, um, what's it called? It's like a little teriyaki pork loin that comes in the little packs. I still have one of those in the freezer. I keep forgetting about it. So that'll be a meal. So once those meals are created, we'll just have to see how it goes because I believe I'll be able to get leftovers out of this fish and out of this chicken so that's what i'm kind of banking banking on to kind of stretch everything is to have leftovers but not so many leftovers that i'm throwing stuff away either you know um but anyway oh and then i also got um paper towels so i had a 75 cent off of the sparkle and then it was on sale for like nine dollars and some change and then they I, they finally started carrying well maybe i've been living under a rock but they finally got these 40 packs of water
y'all what is up welcome back for another video welcome to the channel if you're new here my name is Shanina hey girl hey and y'all I am on my first break of the day well actually my only break of the day um I had scheduled myself well I didn't schedule myself for one o'clock to 1 30 and then two o'clock through three o'clock so I basically have an hour and a half today and it worked out because my last call just ended so it's literally a little bit after one o'clock so I still have enough time to like do something eat something y'all know um but yeah y'all so far today I have done some things like this morning um I was able to get the living room tidied up and the kitchen tidied up so that's good I just have to yesterday I mopped in here so I want to mop in here again I need to sweep and mop the hallway there's like this dirt I don't know who had dirt on the bottom of their shoe but it's like tracking through the hallway so I need to sweep and mop that up and then I want to tidy up Olivia's room today so I don't know if I'm going to be able to tidy up her room while I'm on a break or if that's going to wait until later on so i'm just kind of bringing you guys with okay because we're we're vlogging today but right now girl i just threw me a hamburger patty on the stove because that's what's going to be for lunch last night we had chili cheese dogs and um potatoes but i cut them up like potato chips seasoned them up and put them in the oven so we don't have any more of the hot dogs i only cooked one pack because i didn't want any leftovers because I literally just cleaned out the refrigerator so I didn't want any leftovers so it all portioned out just fine everybody was able to get them two hot dogs and some fries or some chips or however you want to call it potatoes everybody was able to eat and so it worked out no leftovers so now I'm out to fix me a burger and do the same potatoes again so i've already got my oven on 400 and basically the potatoes were real simple they were delicious too so basically i just seasoned them i cut them up to look like this right and then I rinsed them off. So I cleaned off the potato because it's a russet potato. So a dirty potato. Cleaned it off first. Then slice them up. And then rinse it again to rinse some of the starch off. Throw it in a bowl with some olive oil. And whatever seasonings you want to do. I ended up doing onion powder, garlic powder. White pepper and... Um, what else I do? White pepper. A little bit of salt and some parsley flakes and I just did it like that in a bowl and then I put it on a baking sheet and I had the oven on 400 but I kept an eye on it because they're thin so they're not going to take that long to cook let me scoot y'all back just a little bit So after I've rinsed off the starch, after slicing them, I just take a paper towel to catch some of the water, uh -oh. to catch some of the water. Let me turn it all around so y'all can see what I'm doing. I just did all this foil. I didn't even need all this foil like that, but that's all right. So 
So last night when I made this, I made a mistake and forgot to oil the foil. And the potatoes were kind of sticking to the foil, so. Not gonna forget this time. I keep forgetting every time I'm on Amazon little scoops or little spoons that I can put inside those and labels. I've been forgetting it every time. Every single time. And then parsley. white pepper And boom, bam, bam, there it is. Wipe up my space here. 